Hi, in this tutorial we'll look at uh, tan stack query server side rendering in Next.js. Um, right now, if I refresh the page, you can see that all the requests for these particular Pokemon, so the requests for the data, are running on the client, and uh, basically I'm using the use query hook for it, and it's the, uh, it's uh, basically it's present the client, and whenever I refetch these requests also go on the client so right now there is no server side rendering but we would want is we would want to fetch the data on the server but then be able to use the use query hook in the client um, with the cached data that was you know fetched on the server and then if you want to refetch or you know we want to invalidate the query then we want to run the query on the client as well so basically we want to do a mix of both we want to utilize the server for some queries to prefetch the data on the server but on the client we may want to you know invalidate the result so basically we want to uh, refresh the data on the client or you know anything you know update the data or something and basically we want to use the data using the use query hook because you know that is what tan stack is at the end of the day so we can do it using two ways we can get the data on the server using this particular function because this is an async function and we can call async functions in server components in Next.js now. We can do that and then pass it at the data as prop to this client component and then pass that data in the initial data property of use query hook. So basically what would happen is I would pass the data and then um, the initial data property is basically you know some initial data that I can pass in the use query hook. So this would act like I prefetch the data on the server and I passed it here in the use query hook and there would be no request no request would go from the client initially but you know if I refresh or do something else then the request would go uh, through the client so let's try to do it um, so it's easy I do const pokemon is equal to await get pokemon so that is basically the function and then I pass it as props to this client component this is this is basically a server component which is present in this page so this is basically the page and then I go here and here I have already a prop present so I will just use this prop to pass this prop as the initial data for this query so now if I go here and I refresh you can see that no request goes and you know um, I have a loading.ts file which basically means that when the request is going on the server you know I am showing the loading animation so I refresh again you can see that no request is going here I am loading I am showing the loading file next is showing the loading file which basically means that requests are going on the server because it is taking time now to fetch the page instead of you know just fetching the page uh, instantaneously and then now if I click on defetch pokemons now you can see that now I am fetching uh, making the request from the client so it is basically a mix of both I wanted to prefetch the initial data on the server but now I want to you know let's say refetch it or do something with it like invalidate it or something now I can uh, make the request from the client as well cool but it's not scalable why because um, this was one query and I had to you know pass some props and then I had to pass these props here and what if you know I had to use this particular query deep down inside some hierarchy you know maybe it was uh, this component was inside another component inside another component inside another component then I had to basically prop drill this uh, initial data through all those um, components but if I had to use this um, you know query in multiple places then I had to prop drill in all those multiple places what if I had to prefetch a lot of queries not just this query so this is the easy easiest way you can do this but it's not scalable so there's another way we can do this so I remove this I basically uh, use the query client dot prefetch queries to prefetch it and then I will pass it in the hydrate wrapper which is provided by a uh, tan stack query and that would automatically basically insert it in all the use queries which are inside that wrapper so we'll see in a moment so I will do query clients will get query client so get query client is a function uh, which is basically um, where is it yeah it's I'm using the cache function from yeah to basically create a query client so that I can use it across the app 
without you know creating a new instance every time i use it and then i will do await query client dot prefetch query and then i will get the key so get so this is the up key for that particular query let me replace it here as well so that i don't make a spelling mistake or something and then let me remove this because i don't need this now it would automatically plug it in and then here i want to you know pass that function which would be responsible for prefetching the query just like i pass it in use query hook and then here i would say const dehydrated state is equal to dehydrate so basically i would use the dehydrate function from tan stack query and pass in the query client now basically i'm dehydrating the query client and then i would wrap this pokemon's component with the hydrate component that is also a tan stack query component and here i would basically state is equal to dehydrated state cool and hydrate is basically um, you can see it's a local component but at the end of the day it's the same hydrate component from tan stack query and this in next.js if you want to use a client component inside a server component you have to first add it in a client component and then import that client component inside the server component it's kind of complex but you could uh, you need to do this so now same thing is happening so if i refresh you can see that the, you know the loading icon and there is no no query went on the client the query went on the server and now if i click on defect pokemons now the query are queries are running on the client so what is the advantage of that the advantage is that i can literally you know use one simple line to prefetch a query on the server you know any query i want if i want to prefetch five queries i, can, I will just have to you know add five lines it's not a big deal but the advantage is at that now i don't have to prop drill anymore and the data uh, which i'm prefetching would automatically be plugged inside use query hook and literally everywhere in the application the application can be very big it can have like 20 50 pages but because i prefetch it i've been because i'm wrapping the app or you know whatever the component or page with the hydrate component now it would automatically plug in the prefetched query data inside every used query hook in the uh, app and now i can use it anywhere i want and you know if i want to refetch something on a client i can refetch it or you know invalidate the query do whatever i want with it. so that is what was um, you know doing ssr or server side rendering in query client and uh, tensec query um, I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this, please comment down below. As always, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.